Hello guys, uh, my name is Igor. Today we are going to uh, set up Flutterflow project, especially with Firebase fully. So what we have to do first, we have to create a project. So let's name it test project. Uh, when you're creating a project, you have ready-made apps by Flutterflow. You can use them, you can see how they uh, use some logic in their apps. It's very helpful. So, but we are going to start the new project. So, and create new. All right. So, here we need to go to settings, in package name. Copy this one. You will need it. So, uh, Control C, and then we go to Firebase. In Firebase, we add a project. We name it test project continue and here uh, I usually enable Google Analytics it's sometimes going to be very helpful in the future uh, select account default account okay the project is set press continue here uh, we need to create SDK files for iOS, Android and web. So we click on iOS. Here we paste uh, what we have copied from here, package name. You can name your app. It's not important. But you can do it if you need. And just keep clicking continue, next, next, next and continue to cancel. Add app, Android, same thing register app continue next continue to console and one more for web uh, here we just type test project also stop firebase hosting uh, register app next Next and continue to console. Done. We have created our files for our project. Then you click on authentication. Here, just click on get started. Enable email and password. Then we go to Firestore database and create database. So we start. Okay, let's start in production mode. Doesn't really matter. In here, you try to choose the closest servers to you. For me, the closest one is Europe Central to enable. Okay, our uh, database created. Then you need to go to uh, settings, user and permissions. Add a member. Firebase at flutterflow.io and make it editor, add member. So then you need to press on advanced permission settings. Here we have Firebase Flutterflow I.O. We click on Edit, add another role. First role is going to be Cloud Function Admin. And second role is going to be Service Account User. Scroll down, here it is. And click Save. So uh, we get back to test project. Mm. Here you need to upgrade from Spark to Blaze. Why you need it? Uh, you will need it in the future for setting up your uh, push notifications and search. So purchase. Uh, okay, just one moment. Okay. 
so we upgrade our spark so purchase and done ah, we don't need this one cool so right now we need to go to google maps api uh, let's get started start Here, okay. so we have our test project. We click on it and we need to uh, enable our maps SDK, our what else SDK for iOS and for Android. So, first we do Android one, enable it. And here in the list, we have our Maps SDK for iOS. Same, enable it. Alright, and Maps JavaScript API as well. This for our website. So then we, we go to credentials and we just copy our keys and paste it into integrations in Google Maps. This first one, and this is our second one, and that's our third one. Done. So we have finished with our maps. So what we do with our Firebase? Uh, here you have name test project uh, 50 EA7. You have different names, or you just get go to project settings, copy it from here. Oops. Go get go to Firebase and paste it. Connect. Auto generate files generate files okay done so and then we click on push notifications turn it on deploy If you did set up your Blaze account for billings, then it is going to work for sure. If not, then it's not going to work. Okay, uh, it's deployed. So if you click here and you can easily start typing whatever you want. Mm, this was, yeah. Uh, yeah, so here you can send a notification to Android user, iOS users. Here you need to uh, make a user reference who uh, made the post and to which page you're going to send the person if he clicks on the notification. Done. So we need to delete that one. And this is it for today's lesson. Ah, all right. So to turn on your um, authentication, you just need to click over here and GitHub. Let's do the GitHub right now. So what we need to do is to hmm, no. Uh, sorry. Yeah. So let's set up a GitHub right now. This is going to be a little harder. But what you need to do is to register on GitHub create a new repository mm. test project let's make it private uh, let it be no, 
it's fine yeah then we have our github account right now so we copy that url here and paste ah no we don't paste it here because we need to enable that thing here wait so okay uh, we have finished everything with push notifications with firebase with integrations with google maps and right now we have three issues here to fix first issue is project has out fish but sign in page is not specified so here we clicked on authentication enabled uh, project has open but home page is not specified in order to use push notifications the project must have firebase authentication and the user collection configured okay so here we need to get into the uh, here way um sorry okay so here we go to to collections we click on plus create users create go to settings user collections enable it collections users done we have all the fields that are required for a user to sign in into the app and what else else we need entry page and logged in page so we can use easily for example we click on the right side create new page we can use some of the pages here or we create our own signing page but this is for the next lesson so if you have any questions please write below I'm always happy to help you out guys bye bye